Hey y'all, decided I'm running a marathon tomorrow. Um, no training, it'll be barefoot. So it's time to carbo load. It's 3.09 a.m. Let's go to bed. It's 10 o'clock. Um, I didn't sleep at all, if you can't tell. It's freezing in my room. Um, I just found out I had the door open, that's why. And then I just found the heater. Yeah, it's my first night in this place. But... Yeah, it's time. I'm gonna do some breath work, some Wim Hof, and then I'm gonna get after it. Have some coffee, and then I'm gonna get after it. Well, it's about that time to send it, as the kids say. One of my biggest fears. I mean, I've taken two craps already, which is great news, but I had a lot of food last night. Um, why am I doing this again? This just came into my brain. And when something comes into my brain, I'll sit there and I'll be like, dang it, dang it, dang it, until I do it. <laughs> so it sucks. It's like this weird curse I have, you know, like, I got to do this. That, and, you know, I, I look at people, and I really respect the people that do the triathletes, the triathlons, and Ironmans, and marathons, ultra marathons. I'm like, man, those people work so hard. Am I capable of doing that? So I don't know. So I'm going to figure that out today. Um, I'm really scared. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. I'm gonna be screwed for a week. The biggest fear, honestly, though, is Strava turning off and me not knowing how far I went. That's my biggest fear. All right, cheers, y'all. There's me. Um, uh, yeah, I don't want to check my, my distance or my pace. I'm just moving along slow. Uh, probably won't pull my phone out for a while now. I've probably been in it for about 10 minutes. So maybe one mile. <laughs> uh, body feels okay for now. <laughs> this is gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day. Oh no, someone's making me stop. Phew. I'll check in later. And duty's already calling me. Hermit. I'm on 2.6 miles. One tenth of the way there. I'm dying. Dang it. I only ran six miles. It's been about an hour. It's gonna be a long day. Um, pace is like nine minutes, 16 seconds. I'm gonna get some caffeine. I haven't had any water yet. Oh boy, this might be the longest day of my life. Blah. Stoke, they have a path. I'm gonna run out of bridge. And yeah, back the other way, all right, yeah. That's a restaurant up there. Usually spins around in circles. I think they're closed, but I'm gonna ask them like, yo, if I finish this marathon, you wanna treat me for Thanksgiving? Huh? Doubt it. Worth a try. Hello. Anybody want to feed me? I finished a marathon. Running a marathon. Oh. Look at those gangs. Oh boy. Anybody? No? Run, Forest. Run, Forest. Ghost town. All right, officially halfway into this thing. I just FaceTimed the last 20 minutes away. I hurt feet. It's actually 
hamstrings and like hip sockets right now that's kind of hurting the most. Um, brain's okay, intestines or whatever. Uh, I'm at a little bit under a 10 minute pace, which I don't really care about. I gotta finish this thing. I'm hoping to jog the whole thing at least. But if I have to walk, I'll walk. But we'll see. Hey, now I'm just talking just to kill time, you know? Because, you know, maybe get myself out of the, my head of how bad I'm hurting right now. Um, so my whole thing was, I really don't want to look up. I don't want to have expectations of how, you know, what I'm supposed to feel here or there. I'm just such a kinesthetic learner. I got to do it by myself and learn that way. Um, I, I literally didn't look up, you know, pre-race things to do, what to eat. I'll tell you one thing, that drink I had earlier did not sit well. <laughs> Little sips is probably the way. Um, yeah, I might get some salt though. I learned that from the bike trip. It's kind of nice not knowing and just learning on the fly, not having expectations, not comparing yourself to other people, just forging your own path whatever that might be. Oh, walking here. This is the hardest thing I've done in my life. Um, walking because I'm starting to feel the cramp coming on. So I gotta run. I gotta get to a store pretty quick and get some salt in me. I meant to get that yesterday. That was the one thing I was gonna do. Um, don't wanna cramp up and have to quit. So I'm walking it out. Jeez. I think I'm at about 16 miles. So 10 more. 18 miles in. I'm cursing like a person with Tourette's. Oh, this hurts so bad. Just all in my legs, all in my brain, I guess. Oh my God. I'm almost at a 7 Eleven. I'm walking again. Oh. Hmm. My pace is now over 10 minutes. But I guess eight miles is nothing, baby. No. Eight miles to go. Popping a pickle, a banana, some ibuprofen. I'm dead. I'm dying. Oh my god. Have y'all ever had a foot orgasm? Because I'm having one right now on this grass. I might just go around in circles on this little patch right here. It feels so good. Oh. I found a decent flow the last, I have no idea. Maybe it was the drug. I had a fun high energy. I swallowed pickle juice, had a couple bites of a pickle, a banana, uh, and some electrolyte. I can do this. Did I cheat? Maybe. Hey. Nah. I am a completely new man after that. <laughs> Probably freaked some parents out, but whatever. Uh, I still don't know how much time I got left or how many miles I got, but yeah, I'm refreshed. I forget if I told you already, but exactly five miles to go. This is gonna be hurt. I mean, that's still like an hour, this pace, but I think I got it. You know? You know? Ha! Don't judge me. Two miles. One more mile. I'm gonna zone out to some music. I'll catch you after. Well, I freaking did it. I am exhausted, hurting. Um, you know, maybe not hurting as bad as I thought I would. We'll see in the morning. Uh, calves, feet, hamstrings, butt, everything is just fried. Actually, here is really fried as well. It's weird, like my abs and just like, I guess just since they're flexed all day, like really hurts. Um, I still haven't eaten, that sucks. And my shower doesn't get warm. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to take a bath. <laughs> it's kind of sad to have thanksgiving um hopefully i'll have some food eventually i just don't feel like moving or ubering i'm kind of stuck here i don't have a car or scooter or nothing like that but anyways 
much respect to marathon runners. People are insane. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I crossed it off the list. I'm really stoked. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have to be recovering for oh, like a week <laughs> or more. Um, that was really hard. There was a, like during mile 18 and 17, I was losing my mind, like just hurting so bad. And then I took the ibuprofen and that actually really did help. Um, the last mile or two, my legs were cramping. We're just on the brink of cramping, you know? And I was running like, I was just, just, just pick up like, <laughs> it was bad, but I didn't really cramp. It wasn't too, like I didn't die. Um, I had a Dr. Pepper. That was a bad idea. When I was on the bike trip, um, we met these guys and they're like, yeah, in the last 20 miles, we just slam a Dr. Pepper, you know, just get the sugar. I was like, oh, I'm gonna do that too. It sounds so yummy. <laughs> Don't do that. That was a bad idea. Biking, maybe it's a different story. Um, I would have definitely had salt tablets if I could do it again. Keep those cramps away because you're sweating all day. You need to replenish the salt. Um, what else have I learned? Like, and doing it without headphones was kind of tough. I put some music on in the end. It helped, but those headphones would really get you going. But that's cheating, right? You got to just deal with your demons inside, right? Uh, I dealt with a lot of demons. I didn't really, I kind of did get in a flow um, after maybe when the ibuprofen kicked in. <laughs> cheating but yeah i got in a little bit of a flow and it's pretty crazy um i was happy that little ice that little uh when i ran through the fountain that really did change the game for me as well i don't think i ever want to do this again um maybe i will maybe i won't but i'm glad that i got through it really glad check What's next? I don't know. Goodbye.